Uh, I think my Wi-Fi is not very stable, just in case it lock you off if it's coming again. Huh? Thank you. All right. Today, I'm going to bring you to Starbucks. Remember last week we talked about Starbucks, right, Jai? Uh, what, what are we talking about, the Starbucks? Um, why the Italy Italian oh, initially, what, what, sorry? Why Italy initially didn't let um, Starbucks to be in their country? I swear China, right? Yeah. Why are they don't like Starbucks? Culture different. No, no, later. Okay, okay, I'm rock recording now. Man. Uh, yes, sorry. Yeah, my mom is talking to me. Sorry. Ah, sorry, sorry. Culture difference. Culture different. Okay. How about Raymond? Uh, like history and stuff. Huh? Sorry? Like, you know, like, um, let us say, for example, Italy. Italy has, uh, like, entire the country only has one Starbucks outlet. You found out? Uh? Yeah. Like, because our social studies teacher went through. And then oh, we just came. Good, good. And then there's only one outlet. But now it's because of their rich, like, rich so-called, like, coffee culture. That's why they are very, like, re uh, they, they basically... To to put it uh, like to put it to that point right is that they are very rejective like they don't want, uh, they don't want so so called this Starbucks to misrepresent their culture. Then Titan Cow Country put your fun on give give me one cup, ma. Give me a hat. Ah, no, I'm just joking. Ah, uh. if I'm a US Titan Cow, then put your give la give one cup, ma. Buy me ah, how can ah? Don't see me ah, ah, sympathize me ah, uh. just give me one. Then my son don't put ah, uh. why put one? Yeah, you see. There's a reason that uh, your teacher explain to you why. No? It's like. Mm, like so my yeah, question just... was, did your teacher explain to you why? No? Yeah. Uh, if he explains, he's a business owner. Why? Mm, I don't know. Like mostly it should be because of like, the cultural aspect. Uh. Then myself totally don't like Vietnam like that. They totally take away McDonald for the whole entire. Oh yeah, and then there must be a balance, ma. On balance, then I should have comp fair competition, ma. Correct, no? Right, at least 10, 20 branches. That's all the match. One, my what, hey, hello, brother. One, how to compete? <laughs> fair competition. You mean that's a yeah one, ah? One person to ten people. Cannot, right? Hmm. Okay, now you as a as a. As a business point of view, why do you allow only one summer? Oh, I'm not sure. Very easy, huh? just to tell you. Mm. He, this person who was putting in, whether it be the governments or be the, 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 the associations of coffee, huh? or be based on the cultures, they are actually testing the market. They are testing the market. So, if let's say, you see, it's very simple, Raymond and uh, Gavin and uh, Jia Ying and Wang Kang and Mimin. If you are listening, uh, of course, you are listening at uh, paper. <laughs> so I imagine now, uh, China is building out automotive, automotive uh, car. And they are bringing to certain countries, especially come to Japan. Sure, Japan, Japanese will not accept, right? Because they got their own brand, correct? Uh? Then they bring to Germany. Hello. But don't forget, uh, what happened if the car, the China made car, the inside the engine got German spare part? Or Japanese spare part. Get it now? Get it now? Get it now? You get it? Women. So now if I, am, I have a Starbucks, I may be mm. testing my market. I might be testing the taste. I might be to see whether people receptive or the consumers are really receptive to take this kind of new flavor of coffee. I'll be allowed to because you see, uh, you don't forget, Italy produce a lot of beautiful cars, right? right? Lamborghini, Ferrari, Porsche, all these cars and branded. So you stop me from coming to your country, I also stop my thing going to your country. Yeah. Get idea? So that is one way to slowly, surely, and definitely, and you see one, two, slowly, slowly booming up. Uh, a good question for China as well, okay? So we'll talk about it. China also initially cannot accept. Now, uh, I just Googled it and checked uh, this afternoon while well, preparing for this lesson. Uh, there are about 60,000 or 6,000 Starbucks in China. My goodness. Brother, Raymond, if you are the Starbucks CEO, you'll be happy like I am, correct? 6,000. Eh? Initially, it was about 10 or few hundred eh? and slowly booming out. Same in Italy, you go and Google it. Later, I share with you, okay? So like, let's talk about today's lessons. Uh. Today is the last 
day of the month. Oh my goodness! Wow, four months 啊，很快啊，嘉颖，要快哇，要剩几个月就考试了哇，很快很快。Okay, so let's move on. So as mentioned before, like my I have spotted pressure for O level, and this is what I believe the SRQ and SBQ will be coming up this way. Ah, just to take note, issue two that will be most likely coming up for SBQ. And then the issue one will be SRQ. Uh, issue one, uh, SRQ. I won't be surprised that issue one will come out in SRQ. Seriously. By looking at the past year record, uh, you realize SRQ uh, only come up one issue one. That was about in 2020. That was during COVID time. Okay. Uh, I won't be surprised it'll come up in 23 years, uh, three, uh, two and a half years or three years later. So you can see all two, 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 three, and then this is the one I'm predicting. Okay, so I think three will be unlikely to come up for SRQ, okay? And this one, please let me know soon. I'll be getting attendance to come in for this. I'm going to book the place with you, and I'm preparing the, the exam paper for all of you to do face-to-face, -face, of course. Let's talk about some Hollywood and Chinese movie. I'm going to my slide now. Now, a quick one, uh, Gavin. By looking at this, uh, a quick glance, uh, do you see any Chinese movie here? No. No, uh? Oh my goodness. Do you see any Bollywood movie here? You know it's Bollywood, uh? the, the, the India one, uh, you know. Me, oh. hey, me, you uh? So how? So what is he saying? They put there uh, some Hollywood and Chinese movie. Uncle, you pin the you Chinese movie, you pin or you pin. So actually now, let's say, uh, uh, Gavin, you are the prime minister or president of that certain country, uh, Gavin. Uh, Sing Yen, why are you not, not happy with Gavin being a president? Uh? Uh, Sing Yen, I put you as his prime minister, I cannot. Sorry, uh, Jiang, because his brother always said to disturb him, beside him, I know. Okay, Gavin, quick, quick. So would you, um, let's say, which movie will you bring in? The Hollywood one or the Chinese one? Gavin? Hollywood. Why? Internationally recognized. Thank you. So Chinese movie not internationally recognized. Ah, uh, uh, Pan Tu, uh, Raymond, that's the Pan Tu. Put it out, put it out, and you get 30 points. Ha 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 or if you say my majority in my countries are all Malays, Indians, Chinese, people they correct now the language barrier. You must ask this point of questions to read Hollywood. Oh yo, who can you ask? You have to ask some questions to ask. Okay, first of all, I let me check if my country is as a majority of this kind of people, this group of citizens. Of course, Singapore is a multiracial, and then seventy or eighty percent are mostly Chinese. So if your countries are more, more mostly are uh, Indians or Malays, would you want to have a Chinese movie? Well, oh, Raymond thinking already. Oh, that's a good question. Huh? I tell you, uh, Raymond, but the way you look at me like that, uh, I was do I was having the same 10 years ago uh, when China decided to go Africa. I was like, huh? Xiao ah. Impossible. Like you see. Recently, uh, China sent the army uh, to go to Sudan, right? If you are following the, the news, uh, they travel all the way to Sudan to rescue all the Chinese citizens and non-Chinese citizens out of the war zone. You may think about Jiaying, you are the power of these generations and make it possible to feel Chinese proud. I don't know what is going to happen to your generations. Are you going to make the Chinese even more proudest, the most proudest on earth? of the golden age of the Chinese people or the worst Chinese people under your leadership. So I, I would say um, you must have a balance. So whether Hollywood, Chinese or local productions, you, this is where you give a lot of critics about your identity. Take note, write down. It's all about your identity, okay? Now I told you I want to use it in real example. Don't, don't mind. So look at this one. Thank you. So, uh, Gavin, it seems like you're able to see my next slide. Uh. <laughs> you become, yo, man, what's up, man? Cool, man, we are Americanizations, man. Yo, what's up, what's up? Cool, cool. <laughs> Gavin, 
Look at this, ah. Uh. You realize that when the Kung Fu Panda, hey, hello, excuse me, Kung Fu Panda is Chinese, right? From China, right? And they make it the Disney. Uh. You see, American people are very, I, I love Disney Channel, uh, to be honest. I love all the Disney cartoon. You know why not, Gavin? Because they are so damn bloody creative and we really think like a freak and out of the ordinary world. Seriously, Gavin, next time, uh, when you give up whether boy or girls, don't be biased. Uh, when you have children, uh, please let them watch Disney Channel. Seriously. Not only uh, improve the English and the creativities. I don't see... Okay. I hate to tell you, uh, my elder son watched Teddy Tapia. Okay. <laughs> you know Teddy Tapia? Uh, okay. Hey, bro. I remember I went there. Uh, I studied. I brought well, about four Teddy Tapia for my elder son. It cost me 100 pounds. My goodness, so expensive. At that time, uh, many thousand donkey years ago. But I'm just telling you, uh, what's the difference between the Teletubbies and the ones that American, the Disney Channel? Uh, is okay, if you want to learn proper English, of course, Teletubby or, or those um, um, children's, uh, uh, what do you call, children's uh, documentary or children's uh, uh, shows. But Americanizations, uh, the ideas and the creativities are really damn good. They go beyond the boundary. They are unlimited. Unlimited, unlimited, really seriously. And why people take it like, look at it, you see now why China or even now Vietnam open up or even maybe Cambodia. Russia was used to be, but now because of the war, they changed the names, right? And now is even Americans are also facing their own brands. Um, and some of them cannot make it after a few hundred, uh, not few hundred, many years they've collapsed. Why? Is it due to other brandings? Yes. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, next round. I mean, next slide. This one. They know uh, they cannot be 100% pure whites. Uh, they cannot have a pure movie. They're the same actor, actor. So they bring in Donnie Yen. My cousin. Uh, uh, why? You got a problem. Uh? Uh, this one, my cousin, also very pretty. Uh, from China. Uh, this one, also my cousin from India. Ah, you see, very good. Eh? And this one, it seems like animation. <laughs> that one, not my cousin. Really. <laughs> you realize that all these uh, might be mixed into, uh, you, call, no, you know what is Rojia, right? Rojia, you know, Indian Rojia, Rojia, right? How you say in Chinese Rojia, Gavin? Salad, uh, something like salad, you know, right? You know Rojia, Gavin? No, no. Ah, you know what is Rojia, Singapore tree, how good Rojia, you know what? No. You know what you tell? You like a cucumber, you pineapple, how you see one out too. This time you cut out one coffee shop, you roll up, you order it, and I said, You knew too loud. La, you did. You think it's hot, spicy thing? Yeah. I, I don't know. But if, even though I don't know, I put the spice inside a bit, uh, spicy, uh, hot, uh, chili, uh, and eat the roll up, very nice. Uh. So that's why I mean the flavoring. Get it, get it now. Uh. You realize roja is actually uh, then later got Indian roja also, okay. And Raymond, you ate before now, uh, Raymond roja. No, don't ever. Jiang, you see, come on. No, roja. You know, we took a ah, don't ask one can, one can, just to eat. Don't ask him. He didn't eat. Don't ask So this is something I'm just sharing a roja. You know how roja look like? You know, R O J A K. R O J A K. Go, go and Google now. R O J A K. If you got time, R O J A K. Roja. So this is what it means. Adding the flavors, we have to do that. Jiaying, Gavin, Mian, Raymond, and Wang Kang. If you really want to do business as one of your degree, uh, you need to know all these. Uh, seriously, even you want to do business or laws or, or administration business. Uh, especially if you are going for master in business administration MBA. Uh, not the basketball one. Uh, not, not the end. Uh, not the National Basketball, it's a Master in a Business Association. Uh, yeah, Mr. Master of Business Administration, sorry. You need to know all these aspects. Uh. Okay. Next slide. This one is one. Uh, Hey, what, what did I cover it? Okay, maybe I think this one got no the video. Okay. Now, we talk so much about Hollywood's, about China's um, dominance of Bollywood. Now we talk about this one. 
This one came out, I think, last year, uh, maybe it came out this one. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you check with your teachers. Uh, they will give you some practices. Uh. It came out in K, uh, K Korean way. The uh, they call the how you, the how you how how you how you okay. Sorry, I very hard. I, I can't pronounce Japanese uh, Korean's pronunciation. Uh. Only Kamsamida and uh, Alio Seyo. That's all. Uh, and where where is like why where? Uh, that one very easy. Since the mid two thousand, in fact, to be honest, uh, I think I shared this before. Uh, Early in the 90s, in the in the late 90s and early 2000s, nobody would want to buy a Korean car. They find the Korean car is so lousy, even though no matter how cheap it is, they, they rather buy Japanese car, Korean car. They will not buy any brand car of Korean. But now you see, wow, they are now everywhere in the market and their design are getting better. Why? Anyone can tell me why now Korean car is so popular. Of course, you don't tell me, uh, Uncle Raymond, I don't drive Korean car. I don't even have a license. Please, please don't think about even okay. K-pop, la, dancing. Their dancing last time was not so popular. Their food, no, I don't eat kimchi. Uh, okay, I don't eat star. kimchi, I tell you. Uh, I eat kimchi now. Uh, one hour later, I go to other reading. Okay, so fashion. Yeah, fashion maybe, yes, I follow. Language, uh, confirm. Uh, I, I rather learn Japanese than Korean. Uh. No, it's not uh, uh, racist or anti-Korean. Uh. Okay, and then computer games. Yeah, of course, Genshin uh, is developed by China, but it seems like adopting the the Japanese theme uh, and tourism. Um, my wife went to Korean twice. Uh. You guess what, uh, Raymond? My, my students say, will you go to Korea? Uncle Raymond, I will never want to go to a plastic city. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Very sarcastic, right? Oh my goodness, this is recording. Raymond, you got it now. Uh. You get it? I don't want to go in the plastic. There, I was blurred. No, they are very eco friendly. There, ah, uh, yes, I understand what's going on. <laughs> no, at first, I don't understand, brother. I said, I said, no, what the countries are very eco friendly. What, no, Uncle Raymond, plastic walking on the street. It's like, shit, you mean they carry water bottle plastic? No, they are face, la, Uncle Raymond. Huh? Oh, hey, no, no, you walk, you see, you know, sometimes you walk halfway, you accidentally hit them, uh, their nose will drop off, their, their ear will drop off. Oh my goodness. You know, trying and quite sound right. Okay, I don't want to say too much here on the Zoom. Uh. Then I asked my wife, is it true? Uh? I said, no, the Korean guys are very handsome there. What well, about the girls? Uh? The girls are very happy, pretty. Okay, I just stop here. I don't say any much. Anyway, fan base have grown beyond Asia. So seriously, yeah. Uh, Will you find any things that will come up from Singapore pop, Singapore food, Singapore fashions? And of course, here in language, we are not going to learn about Singlish. Uh, be honest, lah, please. But what about Japanese? Uh, during my time, like your age, uh, uh, Jia Ying and Wai Kang, during my time, your age, uh, wow, I'm crazy of J-pop. Seriously. I love the J-pop, especially the, the girls are so much prettier than my wife now. But it's true, what? Uh, Nothing wrong. Why you shake your head, Gavin? And it's true, what? That is a fact of life. I love my wife beside the looks. I love her heart. Jia Yin, do is like looking. Don't laugh, Uncle Raymond. If I dare to say like that, that means I want to tell you is the work outlook is very important. You choose a husband, give a husband. Of course, you have to look. See there's many, many aspects. Same thing. Why I look at J-pop, uh, at that time was C-pop and J-pop. C-pop stands for Cantonese pop. That's how I learned my Cantonese through all their songs. So you see, uh, I don't know, uh, seriously, Jia Ying and Raymond and Tian Yu, and, so Tian Yu uh, and Galvin and Wang Kang and Mei Mei. I don't know what your next generation, your children will have, what kind of pop really. Seriously, will it be V-pop? Maybe teapot, come 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 to Thailand. I don't know. Maybe a dance in Thailand song or Vietnam. I, I would not know. You know why? Because seriously, uh, Indonesia, the youngest generation is growing. The Thai. That means uh, when you are not a Singapore person, you will not be able to Southeast Asia. No, uh, today got the C game. Uh. 
So my mom turned on the TV and play Thailand and Singapore football. Raymond, I look at the Singapore player and play, uh, got foreigners. Uh, V1. I look at the way they play, I say, sorry. Uh, this is a new generation of football player. Uh, I don't know what to say. Sorry. Okay. So what are the evidence of Korean influence in Singapore? Many types. Number one is social media, EDM, electronic di uh, digital marketing. Number three, Koreans influence because they are heavily influenced by terms of what? They move their, their productions, their, their knowledge base. And because they took advantage, you see uh, J-pop and Cantonese pop last time, uh, it's all buying by the cassette or, you know, J-pop. We, we, we don't, at that time, we don't have even have uh, sushi, tela, uh, sushi house uh, or sake sushi, all these things. We don't even have a chance to take the Japanese food, to be honest. Huh? Singapore at that time in the eight, in the seventies and eighties, uh, don't have all these things. And don't forget, huh? During the seventies, uh, there are still a lot of people in Singapore still very anti-Japanese. Fair, huh? fair, okay, still fair. But as time goes by, this all becomes gone. The the, the effects are different. So honestly, may, maybe can I share? Can I ask you, uh, what do you think your grandson or granddaughter generation? What kind of pop would that be, Raymond? No need to say your grandson. Uh, I say about your son. Uh, Raymond, what kind of uh, culture? Excuse me. Mm. Which country you would dominate? China. China, thank you. Very likely. Yeah. Okay. Hey, please don't put that in. Here. I'm sorry, Gabby. I want to see the vote, huh? Huh? What, uh, what kind of um, 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 culture would you think? Maybe Singapore pop. Maybe. I mean, uh, yeah. Singapore pop. I can't imagine the fashion look like one of Jai. Roja. <laughs> okay, export. Uh. Okay, okay. I respect you. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I will not be able to idea. Thank you, Gavin. My, my, my bad. Uh, Jia Ying? Uh, China. China. Wang Kang? Oh, Thailand. Because like, now like Thai dramas like gaining popularity. Yes. Oh, I tell you, uh, oh, the girls are so pretty. You know? Then sometimes I, I stop at halfway. Hey, what are so pretty? Hey, wait, wait, wait. Is it a, a, a boy, girl or what? Or, or, or lady boy? You know it's lady boy. Is it gay? Or sometimes it's so pretty. I've been in Thailand for a few times. Uh. Okay. Seriously, sometimes I walk on the street, I look at the girls, uh, excuse me, are you really a girl? Because Thailands are very famous, uh, you know, right? Uh, I even went to, to watch the gay show. Uh. It was so pretty and doesn't look like until we see the Adam Apple. Some they have, some they don't have. Yeah, Thai pop possible. How about you, Mimi? Uh, I think Indian. Oh, okay. Hey, possible, possible. Possible. In fact, now so I watch a lot of uh, Indian drama. Some of them are very, very meaningful, very useful, and really touch the hearts about talking about society. Yeah. So there are two, two votes of China. I would say China is the next wave, to be honest. The first one I see is Ben uh, Pao Xiongdi. It's one of my favorite shows. Really. Okay. Of course, a lot of people say it's copy. Uh. Ah, you see, you see. Do you see Uncle Raymond here? You see Uncle Raymond here? This one, this one. Uh, this one, you see? Uh, with the mic. Huh? Oh, seriously, uh, Gavin. You really look at the, the picture that I was inside. Chaying. Oh my God, seriously. You see, Chaying, you don't see it. Uncle you are inside. Which one? Oh, this one, this one. Or this one, this one. Or maybe I turn to this one. <laughs> maybe this one, you see? Uh, more sexy and more nice. Raymond also want to laugh really by holding hold on to love. I want to put it. Look what the next do see. I see what you don't see. You turn it out. You throw out everything. Same as me. It's about looks and features and design and Japan as well. Okay, joke aside. Huh? 
Yeah, uh, thanks. Uh, well, I, I watched, uh, I saw your, uh, your, your message, Wang Kang. But the thing is that um, you have to understand now uh, with all these uh, wave, like you see, all these are mostly Korean. That's not what's Americanization. And Chinese and Korean and Thai, uh, Wang Kang, or even, uh, except India, uh, uh, me, me. the rest of, 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 us, uh, of us are choose the Chinese, uh, Chinese, uh, Korean, and Chinese, Thailand, and uh, maybe Korean. Uh or even Japanese, or even Indonesia, maybe, uh, we can still feel a bit of sense of the same colors. I said Indian, uh, unless the Indian one are very fair type. That's a different story. Well, maybe there's a possibility that this, uh, the one, wait, uh, give me a minute. I turn on the other fan, uh, because I think the air con, the, the filter is very dusty. I keep sneezing. Okay, so these are the brands. I'm looking forward for a China made car soon. I can't wait. Uh. If I can have a hand on it, I'm going to definitely want to drive a quote for Chinese China made car. Okay, so let's move on. So, rejection of Korea. Ah, this is the one the same that I'm talking about Starbucks, uh, whether they were being rejected by Italy and China. Due to the perception of invasion of Korean cultures to political reasons, such as political tensions with Korea. So in August 2011, Japan ran in front of Fuji television to express unhappiness with the increasing presence of Korean programs in the network daily broadcast. Also due to the deteriorating public perceptions of Korea as a result of underlying political tension between Japan and Korea. Why? I think this is the most important factors. Huh? If you look at the history, huh? The Japanese will be very egoistic. Uh. Until today, uh, after World War II, uh, they still don't want to sur surrender in the sense that saying that they are the one who have the atrocity to kill a lot of Chinese people in China and other parts of Asia. They are the one who have uh, mass killing, uh, genocides. And they are the one who will still never say sorry to the Chinese people. So until today, the same. I think when Korea want to take over Japan's cultures, uh, uh, the, the, the fashion or this, they feel like they are very in, uh, inferior, inferior complex, not superior complex. Uh. Inferior complex is uh, 自卑心很重, even Korea was used to be colonized by Japan. So now the, the country that has been colonized come back to take over them. It's like they are, they are being colonized by Korea. So they feel there's uh, these political tensions a political underlying, underlying uh, hidden agenda. I'm not sure whether your teacher was telling you this. Huh? Now I told you, I see this. Huh? Did I ask you before? I'm not sure. I, I've been asking the same question until I get, get a blur here. If you have the uh, ability to combine two or three food, huh? let's say, Jia Ying, you can eat your husband's restaurant. Which are the three major food? Just huh? just in your front of you. Then you can combine. I will combine, ready? I will combine China food, Japanese food, and Ch Singapore food. Okay? Let me say, uh, China food will be Beijing, yeah? My favorite. Oh, I love Beijing, yeah? But I'm not a doctor, you don't want to give me. I eat Beijing, yeah? I'm not a doctor. Okay, just joke. Lah. Okay, Beijing, yeah? Then the Japanese, of course, I will look into the sushi. All right, this one, the run here. Okay, this time. Then the Singaporean one, I will look at it as a Chinese or um, maybe Hainan Chi Fan or Laksa. You know Laksa, right? Laksa? Think, you know Laksa? Laksa, huh? you know Laksa? Wow, very nice. Uh. Wow, Raymond. Yeah, high five, yeah, high five. I love it. Uh. I don't eat hot stuff, but when I eat the Laksa, the, wow, the effect very nice. Uh. So my Tan Guan Yu, uh, Beijing Ya, Laksa, and Japanese Sushi. How can these three dishes are mixed into one that is very presentable? Very simple. I will have a plate that with a, uh, the, 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 the Beijing Ya. Then I have some sushi beside it. Then my Lhasa is the, okay, I remember this is the best part, uh, where I put the noodles there. But the gravy, all right, the gravy will be separate in a bowl, all right? They will dip it. Now, the next thing is that whether they want to dip the Beijing Ya or the sushi into the gravy is another story. Get it? So they have the combination of this. Uh, that means they have option one and two. Of course, when they make sure they dip into the laksa's gravy, it must be taste authentic and nice and delicious and sumptuous. Then your business will grow. Ah, this is a business opportunity because you see, one stop, uh, I serve three different dishes. 
to cater with three different um, tastes for maybe a family of the old, young, and 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 uh, uh, something that is different. Okay, so back to you, Raymond. You start first. Which three dishes would you like to do? Everyone play a part, huh? All right. Uh, so for me, uh, I would like to combine. Three, yeah, must have three dishes, huh? Three different uh, countries, huh? Uh. Yes, I would like to combine Chinese food, Italian food, yeah. <laughs> okay. and maybe French food. Also, oh, so, merci beaucoup, bonjour, bonjour, okay. And then one more? I mentioned three already. Uh, Chinese, French, and what? Chinese, French, Italian. Oh, Italian, okay. Come, what is your Chinese food? Uh, Xiaolongbao. Oh, how? Uh, <laughs> okay, then how about the French? The French, I would like those, like, you know, those, like, raw seafood and oysters and stuff. Oh, my favorite! Oyster! Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, then the Italian? Ah, uh, pizza. <laughs> uh, sorry, I thought you were going to tell me Italy spaghetti, though. Know? Because yeah, I don't pizza, think... Uh, you, you see, ah. Uh, Oh, uh, like we can combine these, right? And then, like, maybe, like, add a new variation. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, but maybe the Italians will hate me. <laughs> yeah, Italian were against you. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sneezing. Okay, Jia Ying, what's your, what your combination? Um, Chinese, U US, and um, Turkey. Huh? Sorry? Turkey. Turkey, yeah. Yeah, Turkey. You uh, Oh, oh my God. Okay, Chinese. Because, Chinese because, is uh, what? What is the Chinese food? Because these three places are the like the most, like they have they have the largest population. Okay. Yeah. Of course, Chinese. What is the uh, the food that you're gonna have? Yeah. Um, jian bing guo zi. Jian. Oh, I think I eat before in Beijing. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. Uh, the second one, Jian Bing Guo Zi. I must see the picture again. Uh. Okay. <laughs> and then the US, I think, is the um lobster. Lobster. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it's my, my favorite dish also. Okay. And, Jian Bing Guo Zi uh, and lobster. Sounds good. Okay, the third one. The the one I think turkey, the chicken. The kebab, right? Yeah. Wow, very smart. 这叫做东西和平啊，不是不是讲错，东中西和平啊，东就是我们的中国中国啊，东啊，西啊，不是U.S.啊，你懂中是和土耳其啊。Now you have to know that Turkey is actually the center of the between the east and the west. You know right? It's actually the gateway between east and west. Wow, you really use history there. Well done. Wow, well done. Welcome to Jia. No, maybe your new and your husband names come out and then come with this one. Awesome. How about you, Mei Mei? What, what, what dishes you want to come up? I will ask one kind last. Oh, uh. uh, I don't know. Like, uh, like uh, Chinese, mm. um, Malay and Indian. Oh, okay. That's very interesting. Okay, Chinese food, what food? Oh, yeah, my nose. Yes. Uh, what uh, 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 uh. Oh, I think like new or something. I don't know. Oh, how, how, how? 我很喜欢吃牛肉面, but recently I stopped cutting down our beef, okay? That's for like, what do you mean how? Huh? Like, what do you mean how? What mean how? How what? I don't know. I don't know. China, China, Chinese neuromian, ma, so I cut down. La. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't want to eat a lot of uh, beef. Okay, then the Malay? Uh, I think nasi lama. Oh! Oh my god! That's, wow, that's very nice combination. You know, you. Okay, you, you, me, and you, you, fun, ah. Huh? Or you that um but that kind of that uh yejiang wei dao, very good. And then Indian, um a uh, roti prata. You hold on, can I have the zetek? My nose what? Can I, wait, wait, I'm talking to my wife. Sorry, can I have the zetek, Maxim? Because my nose start get itchy. I think my friend. Ah, oh, roti prata. Wow. So you are putting the new roll mian, ah, maybe combine with your roti prata and then eat with the nasi lemak. Yeah. Wow. That is very local flavor. But you, hey, who knows, ah? Yo, this product, yes, Raymond, you're showing me something suddenly I didn't see. What is it? What were you show me? Oh, you're eating that also? Ah? I'm eating now. Yeah, yeah, I'm eating now. 
Well, because my um I, I got some allergies and I like got like the my nose keeps running. Yeah, you see my nose like become runo so red nose rain here. Have a little shining nose. Christmas come early today. Um, but you know you're 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 drinking with milk, is it? Are you drinking with milk with your with your Zyrtec? Oh uh, yeah. No no no! Don't do that. Ah. Hmm? Cannot no. You are supposed to take medicine with plain water. Ah. Or oh, plain water. Not even coffee, tea, or milk, or wine, or re, re, uh, river, or beer. Oh. Okay. Uh, this is said by Dr. Jia Ying and Dr. Wang Kang. Uh. <laughs> okay, okay. No, no, no. This is not okay. You can't do this. I'm going to tell you, you'll be lost. You know what is lost? Uh, diarrhea. Sorry, uh, touch, touch, touch. No, no, no. Besides that, it's uh, not a joke. Uh. Not supposed to have this combination. Because the milk, when you drink, uh, you got different lettuce and other things that you will you will not have the very strong effect by the medicine. If you want the effects to come quickly, it's best to drink plain water. Okay, most of the doctor will say it's okay, or they might say no. Okay, 在中药在中中医看法就是白开水。你如果你吃中药，两个小时后才吃西药。Okay, thank you. One can. What about you? Um, China. China, Portugal, and Italy. Oh. Okay, Chinese. What? What dish? Um, maybe like yu tiao. Ah <laughs> yeah, 我最喜欢的 Okay. Then uh,、mm -hmm. Portugal. You don't tell me the egg tart. Ah.、Uh? Oh no, 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 it's like then it's this dish, right? It's like outside is like a bread, then inside is like um very thick kind of soup. Oh. You mean the soup covered with the bread on top? Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yes, my wife love it. I I don't know what you call it. Oh, that one is damn awesome! Wow. Okay, then the third one. Uh, like in side then. Uh, uh Italian, uh, Italian, yeah. What what is yeah. it? Oh,、uh, like uh, pistachio gelato. Oh my god! It's a welcome to Italy pistachio gelato ice cream. I just finished my ice cream. So welcome, Wangkan. Next month, end of the month, you come over to my French restaurant. I will give you gelato ice cream. It's from Italy, seriously. Okay, I tell you one, ah, Raymond. I think after our after after your O level exam, ah, we don't need to study. We have our own restaurant. We have the authentic, ah, ah, Jai. Ah, with your father and mother, don't worry. Uncle Raymond, prepare a restaurant. Dongxi Heping. Wow, I tell you. Honestly, ah, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think your teacher share with you all these things, ah, because it takes some time. Ah, since we are here, honestly, ah, do you think your product will sell in Singapore in the world? Um, I think yes. Why? Because Singapore doesn't have anything that is, um, like, like from us. It's always like imported from other countries. And then, um, my my restaurant, <laughs> it will be um. <laughs> It will be from three different um countries, right? And then of different culture, and then they can experience it in like um just a meal. And no need there, lah. You know Singapore is a mad cosmopolitan, right? We got a lot of foreigners, right? You are actually inviting three different communities of people, and on top, ah, with other community of people, and on top, ah, imagine they are couples married from these two country, ah. Whoa, my goodness, beautiful, ah, awesome, ah. You know, ah, my godson, ah, the mummy is from Mongolia, ah, Mongolia. The father is from Myanmar, so I call him M and M chocolate. <laughs> M and M, ah, Mongolia and Myanmar, ah, M and M chocolate. Okay, and and true enough, she is. He looks a bit tang, ah, like chocolate. Ah, okay, he's a no racist, ah, but he's a very smart boy. Gavin, don't like that, ah. <laughs> don't think of. He's a very nice boy. Okay, so he also learned Mongolian language as well as um a、uh, Burmese language. And on top, you learn Chinese and learn English. I say, hey, I ask my friend, hey, bro, how my dear boy ah can learn four languages? Yeah, I say very tough. He says he's one only one to give up, but because he knows for his futures and all these things, he's definitely. I tell you, if this boy grow up to be an adult ah, a lot of people will want to employ him. He can go all these four countries, no problem. China and Mongolia are together, correct lah. Myanmar because my friend is from Burma, but he give up he give up Burmese citizenship already. 
So yes, so this is, thank you so much for your sharing. And I hope that you can keep this in mind in future. If some of your relatives or your maybe your parents who decided to want to open a restaurant or even fashion, uh, you can think about it three in one. You realize that, uh, Gavin, Uncle Raymond, why not two in one? Uh? Why must be three in one? Always use three in one, you know why? The two major one and one, the second, the, the one back up. Always do that. So in the future, when you do anything, always see Chi Yi Fan San, always the two major and one backup. You must have one backup. Take note, huh? especially the boys who are going for army. Huh? You, when you attack your enemy, you must have two ways of attack, but one way to back up. True now. The first one is to wreck the enemy. The second one is to attack. The third one is artillery to bomb. Uh, you see, just in case. Okay, thank you so much. So look at this one. You realize this one is a large number. Um, that's where I, I just I asked you, right? You see, you realize, you realize McDonald's, every time they come to Chinese New Year, they have different burger. Uh, they got this uh, prosperity burger. Uh, and then the Malay one, they got the uh, 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 Lassi Loma burger. Thank you, Amin. I think you, you give me a good idea of this. Then, uh, how about Dibabali? They might come out another set of uh, menu. Or even Christmas, or even certain seasons. That's why they got this diversity. So we are spoiled for choice with so many varieties. I think McDonald's is a very good example. I think they not only have this strong marketing to promote their Americanization products, but they also like to uh, hybrid and, and make sure that it, it blends into the cultures. And that's why later you can see why Starbucks slowly, surely, definitely penetrate in Italy and China. So these are the top 10. You see, look at this. Uh, this one is quite a while already, 2014, oh my goodness. Now it's 2023, it's already. Uh. Now this is the one you see. McDonald's, I think McDonald's are still the number one in the US, followed by KFC, Subway, and Pizza. I think Starbucks has moved up already. Uh. Subway and Pizza, Pizza might be dropping, uh. especially with now with the Domino Pizza coming out and uh, Canadian Pizza and things like that. You know, there are other competitors coming in. And who benefit? Of course, it's the consumer's benefit. So, Tiai, like your, your three in one products or one can, I like the way, uh, the, I like the particular that, that one. Uh. And of course, maybe you. You, not, you did not take other countries, no? but yours are very specific in Singapore favor. And this is not wrong also. Uh. This is also can be a culture, can be values to people. Well done. Okay. Um, so by this one, homogenization is reducing culture diversity and threatening the local cultures. So people tend to see Americans are like annexing beside military power, they also want to attack the social and economic power. So it's like PES. So people might feel felt that it's a threat to them. So what happened? So they reject. You see, Italy in 1986 protesters demonstrate against McDonald's. Opening as they see it as an Americanization. Remember, you have to understand the year as the year goes by, it changes. Oh, yeah. oh, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. <clears throat> this is 1986, but now the things has changed. Why they have changed? Why has changed? Anyone can tell me? Why? This is 1986. Now it's 2023. Tell me why they changed. Why they changed now? They accept McDonald's, let's say. McDonald's bring them money. Yes. Very wow. So Gavin, you know why, why I asked you this? Huh? Have I told you about the story the father brought sent two sons to Africa? Did I tell you this story? No. Huh? The first son went to Africa. The parents, the father are selling shoes. The first son came back and told the father, Daddy, no need to sell any shoe to African people. So the father asked, how come? Because they don't wear shoe. You're wasting your time, man. You're wasting your time to sell shoe. There's no way they're going to wear shoe. We, our business will not be successful. Then he, he, the father not happy. He sent the second son. The second son come back. Father, it's a good opportunity to sell shoe in Africa because they don't wear shoe. Now, if you're the father, will you listen to A or listen to B? Raymond. Oh, must be A, ma. You listen to A, ah? 
Yeah. Oh, no wonder you are not Nike. Hmm? <laughs> the story was said by Nike, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And today you see a lot of African wearing shoes. Leaders. But make sure it's legal. 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 I run naked in the bathroom. <laughs> you know what business are Wang Kang, Mimian, Gavin, Raymond, and Jiaying? This one got no such thing as hormonization or hybridization. So now you understand, uh, Raymond, at the end of the day, uh, the father listened to number two uh, and he really sell like orchids. Uh. Okay. Uh, but again, uh, you need education. You need to educate them how to tie the shoelace, how to wear the shoe properly, you know, the sole, some of them got flat foot, or what foot, whatever it is. It took them a while to understand. That is why, you know, now, now, now you understand, uh, Raymond, the logo, uh, the motto of Nike is what? Just do it. Get it now? Just do it. The most popular business in any country uh, is my Guan Tai selling coffin. I'm serious. I'm telling you seriously. I said those poor countries, like people are having war, you don't tell, hey, hello, your family died. Do you want to buy coffin for me? Uh, the Misa is coming down on your head. You don't ask them, uh, sell. It's true, no? Agree, no? Jai. Right, coffin business, you find it very easy, right? Huh? It's not an easy job, man, but you you don't you see uh, it was one joke, uh, they were saying that they want one day this guy want to buy a coffin for the for the dead uh loved one. Then you ask the, the owner, uh, Jai, you know, ask uh the you may discount uh my e song again, you know. You might go to the way you know, right? And you know uh, there's a saying uh if someone were to sell coffin, if you hit the coffin uh, on the coffin three times, uh, talk, 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 uh, straight away less than a day or one hour, you, you, the business will come in with you. It's not a man. It's a man. It's a bit of a thing to say. So this is the one you say, well done, you bring straight money to them. You are right. You are bringing opportunities. So KFC, India shop and attack of outlets. Look here. Bangalore, India, 1999. Farmers attacked at KFC restaurant and they came that their foreign foods companies threatened their traditional agriculture practice by imposing Western farming methods. But now you see, okay, this one you read, huh? what I'm, I'm explaining to you. Huh? So you realize uh, to start a business, uh, they always say, Chi to one, Chi to what? Chi to one, hey, what? What's Chi to one, Chi to one, Chi to one, Every business you start off is difficult. The same thing. When you want to start, this, this topic is here to share with you that, you know, when you want to do a, any business or when you want to implement a certain policy, when you want to ensure that the mass support your, your, your belief, your thoughts, you need to have a very uh, deep understanding of what is happening. What is a good thing? What is able to help your fellow citizen? What is the benefits? So you realize after all this one year plus studying chapter issue one and issue two, this is where you need to implement the policy, whether is it a pleasing to the majority or not. Why is Saturday say National Day? Why is, why is National Day, sorry? You know what I mean? and, uh, A few minutes ago. <laughs> it's about what? Uh? The, the events one. Uh? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Talking about National Day, uh, you realize it's also bring the culture and the food uh, during the parade. So I, uh, uh, you have to look at this very seriously. Huh? Whether it's a fashion or food or language or tourism, which one is more important? Huh? If you are done, please uh, turn on your camera. Okay, thanks. So over 400 outlets. Now you see, 300 there. Oh my goodness. So the start off is the very difficult one. So imagine uh, all of you are the CEO of, uh, let's say, McDonald's or maybe another product similar to McDonald's, uh, similar to KFC. How are you going to penetrate? What does this show about the, how the attitudes change towards fast food? 
does acceptance of fast food cultures indicate that it's no longer a threat to local practice? This is the more touching question, to be honest. Touching means that this is a question that you really have to ponder and ask yourself. Does it really affect if I, re I represent, uh, if let's say I take away zhongzi, what other reasons are possible to trade off have to let the country rejecting fast food? So if I'm my, my zhongzi, the one, look what then you see, you see the beside all these kui kui here, these are all the traditional kui kui. Are they going to replace them? Are you going to add flavor or you really replace them totally? True enough, huh? hey, I'm so sorry. Yeah. True enough, my, my younger son don't like to eat all these things. He become a McDonald's kid. I think uh, Raymond, Yavin, Wang Kang, Mian Mian and Jia Yi, I think from young, uh, when, when you're young, uh, the first thing you ask your parents, ask you, what do you want? McDonald's. Right, uh, McDonald's. You see, uh, McDonald's don't sell burger. Like. McDonald's sell ideas. McDonald's sell family as a whole. You realize that? If you say um, burger is very popular, uh, I think Burger King, uh, their burger is much better than McDonald's. Agree or Wangkang? Hey, you can you see this? You see, you don't eat burger. You eat this year. You eat the meat. You don't eat burger. You see, 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 他不要笑了，他很 serious。是啦，也不要，你被看到我点头了没？啊，你还要我讲什么？对不起，对不起，我的错，我的错，我的错，对不起。It doesn't always end this way. McDonald's closing all restaurants in Bolivia. Wow, my goodness. This has got to do with politics, with this. If if the whole entire closing, ah,、uh, then you have to blame the governments. Look at this one, you know, ah.、Uh. That means they are very anti-American. So hybridization food, as one just now we talked about, really, all the food. Wow, beautiful! Well done. We have all these nice, beautiful food. The three in one combinations, and you see, realize that it's so nice, so beautiful, so vibrant, so colorful, so rich in culture, right? Jai, and you never know, no. If Turkey people will thank you, ah, for bring out their 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 extinct food, ah. To bring them alive, ah,、uh, and kicking, ah,、uh, they will love you. How can the Japanese have Japanese curry chicken? Curry is ah、uh, like what Mimi said, right, Mimi? Ah,、uh, curry is mostly ah、uh, Indian and and Malay. Oh, then you see the salmon with、uh, all these things. Look at ah、uh, teriyaki chicken, Japanese and this one. So, ah,、uh, Uncle Raymond, thank you for showing me all the food. Because there's one question they ask: whether fashions and food, which one do you think is more has the strongest impact, or is it entertainment? They ask you three, yeah, entertainment, fashion, and food. Which one has the biggest impact? So I really show you just now the entertainment, right? Then I also show you fashion, right? The the clothing and all these things, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, the way they dress, what kind of things, and then next thing here. In your opinion, explain two possible ways that local entertainment can compete with foreign entertainment in Singapore. Do you think hybridization is a greater impact of this homogenization? Explain your answer. Of course, you want you can do. Please. The conclusion is that dynamic relationship between foreign and local cultures both can influence each other and also can have a set set back. Ah,、uh, does the does not necessarily lead to a dominance of reductions. Depends on the country policy. And if the government changes, like Bolivia or certain countries, they are anti-American. Sorry, the whole entire nation gone. Just like Russia now, who is having Ukraine war, okay, and the whole Russian all the banana close down and becomes another name. Hey, I heard ah,、uh, Wang Kang. Oh my goodness, my nose is getting worse. <clears throat> I heard that China is coming out a new coffee flavor, fighting with Starbucks. Is it true? And it's called luck, luck, lucking or or something like that, right? Yeah, lucking, right? Ah,、oh, you all get it, ah?、Huh? You see, my generation, oh, that means your daddy and my generation come out, no, to to counter attack Starbucks, no. So you guys have to maintain that lucking competition with Starbucks. You realize the last few topics, ah,、huh, is really related to your future studies and the future courses that you're going to choose.
seriously. My advice is, if you are going for JC or Poly, please must sign up one course in programming and IT. I hate programming, I tell you. I hate programming because as long as it involves math, uh, I'm going to die. I should die. I will sure take the chair and throw at the teacher. Confirm. Uh. Because if I were at your this age, uh, math is so important that you have to go. Uh. Even like uh, recently, my, my one of my ex-students who is also my, my working together with me, is taking NUS uh, first year. He told me, uh, oh, you must still do math, statistic math. So this country, math and English are very important. Uh. If you feel good luck to you. Uh, okay. In Singapore? Everywhere. Uh. In fact, everywhere. If you look at it, China also very important in, in math. Su, suan, sing, suan, semo, suan, do you ah? No, but in China, English is not important. You know, it's not important. Hey, who say that ah? You never, you don't, you don't know the gao kao ah. It's, it's like one, one fifth of the entire paper. No, it's not. Wait, wait. I haven't yeah, finished. Yeah, no. What? It's, it's in Chinese. Or... Wait, wait. Let me explain. It means it's right. It's not important. If you are selecting certain topics or certain jobs. Wait, ah, wait, ah. I mentioned English is important throughout the world because it's recognized as international language. But in China, this is not important if you don't pass your English well. Let me explain. Huh? Because you are in the China market. Raymond, let's be honest. You in Beijing or in Chongqing, Shandong, Hainan Dao? Do you speak Chinese or do you speak Chinese? Do you speak Obviously, 前面两个对吗? 当你是华人讲英文, hello, sorry, how much is this? 那个叫十老外啊。那不就是刚啊,华人都不讲啊。对不起,我会讲华文的OK。啊,你讲华文都不标准啊。你这个是在美国多久了?我在美国已经十几年了。啊,怪不得你讲华文都不准。啊,sor
，他很他很高兴啊，你们，谢谢你，帮我祈祷 ，OK，All、okay. right，Let's go。Oh my goodness, what's wrong with her? Ah, excuse me, I think the dusty. Sorry, sorry. Where is my notes? Ah.、Huh? Okay, guys, move on to this one here. What is globalization? Ah,、uh, this is very good for your SRQ or children. Let's read. Ah,、uh, Jiayi, please read properly and practice your oral. Right, let's go. What is globalization? Globalization is the process by which ideas, knowledge, information, goods, and services spread around the world. In business, the term is used in an economic context to describe integrated in economy economies mark market marketed by free trade, the free flow of capital among countries, and easy access to foreign resources, including labor markets, to maximize returns and benefit for the common good. The keyword is common goods. My question to all of you: What is the common goods? If you look at this one now, this time I think I showed you before, right? Correct right, enough, Raymond. Go and Google Marshall theory. This is super important at this theory. I'm telling you, ah,、uh, all the way to university. Whether you are taking engineering course, whatever course in university, this theory is super super important. And the common good is a physiological, and the second le level I can't.、Uh, that day I just do I can't remember. Sorry, sorry. There are five levels, ah.、Uh. Because up to the certain levels, they were decided to say, "Oh, good, okay, that's it. I don't need your service anymore." I think your grandparents are、uh, must salute to your grandparents. They are already at the top level, already, the fifth, the highest level. Ah,、uh, thank you. Ah,、uh, Jiayi. Ah,、uh, Wang Kang, are you able to read the next one? Then follow my main main the third paragraph. Thank you, Wang Kang. Globalization or globalization, as is known in some parts of the world, is driven. Ah,、uh, sorry. So what is the difference? Why, 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 why is he repeating two? Um, American and UK. Oh, thank you. So which one is American and which one is British? Well, pretty much you're testing me, right? Because I don't want to turn on camera just now. Is it? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, bro. Why? Which one? Um, British is the or the S and the G is American. With this one with the S. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. You are not talking about that one. Okay, British with the letter S, not British with the S. Okay, the British with the letter alphabet, not letter with the alphabet S. Thank you. Then okay lah. Then which one are you for, Nanke? No, no, no. I'm testing you in your comprehension skill, ah.、Uh. Okay, joke aside, ah,、uh, don't get, ah,、uh, one can't don't get angry, Nanke. Actually, ah,、uh, Kelvin, I'm very angry with her because just now we eat, ah, she didn't invite me to eat, so I'm now very angry. <laughs> okay, come. It's driven by the convergence of culture and economic. No, no, no! You don't escape, huh? Don't jump, jump. I ask you, why do you need two? Why do you need to cross the divide? Oh, I don't know. Kelvin. Yes. Why? Why there's an S and a Z there? Uh, American spelling. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, Doctor Wang Kang already said that already. Please, he never pay attention, ah.、Huh? Yes, why? Tell me, Mimi. Why? Why? One? One? This? This one? Why? Two to each? Any idea? No idea. Okay. Ah,、uh, Jiayi.
I'm not sure. Don't don't say not sure. You say ah, uh, let me think about it. Huh? No more IDK. Ah, uh. I'm uh, let me think about it. How about Raymond? Ah, uh, because the one with the Z is the American spelling, and the one with the S is the British spelling. The one with the S. The one with the S. So the American got no S. <laughs> All right, man. I like you. I love you. Okay, okay. That's something. Okay, okay. No, Raven, I'm not disturbing you, but I like the way you say it. the one with the S is British. The one without the S is American because America got no S. All right. Okay, Raymond, beside this joke, why is it there's Z and S? Seriously. Okay, beside that, it's okay. We, we know about that. Okay, with the alphabet Z and the alphabet S. Why they want to put double? I just remember remember that thing we talk about reuse, reduce, and recycle. And then I say reduce is not we can't reduce. We cannot reuse the condom. We can recycle the condom. And true enough, uh, I went around to see the whole entire Singapore. Uh, there's a lot of bins called recycle bin. They don't have a reduce reuse bin. Uh. Correct, uh, Raymond. All right, Gavin. Uh. so that means in conclusion, uh, Recycle is more important than the other two. Globalizations and globalizations, the alphabet, the Z and S represent them because these two countries have been colonizing a lot of country in the world. They don't want to leave out one, the other one is to this passage or this article is to show both countries that you guys has not only colonized the most of the country in the world, especially the American, you know, the Red Indians, and the British, of course, has the most dominant power in the 17th, 18th, and 19th century as well. So this gives them a significant understanding. One can't carry on. Now you understand why? They feel that these two countries has the most superpower during the past many events, and which is true enough. Um, China was not involved in that particular situation. So these are the, the, the essay is set aside in a, in, a, in a kind of environment, the atmosphere to describe these two superpower at this particular time. You don't believe why? one can't carry on reading. Really. This convergence promotes, and in some cases, it is necessitate increased interaction, integration, and in interdependence among nations. Agree? Okay. Now you understand why? Now you understand why? Because of that, because you see us in, in Asia, Philippines was controlled by the US, okay? And the French controlled the Vietnams, and the rest, of course, by the British. Carry on. The most countries and regions of the world become intertwined politically, culturally, and economically. The more globalized the world becomes. So now you change to American really. So this essay is actually for the American people. They are telling the British also do that. But we are managed to throw the British out of American soil and now becomes an independent state. Wow. Uh, thank you, Wang Kang. Mimin. Mimin. Can you read this paper? Are you able to read this paper, Mimi? Well, why were you talking to me? My, my internet lag. Are you able to read this paper, please? Which one? There's only one paragraph here. Become intertwined politically, culturally, and economically. Um, policies that promote free trade, uh, open borders. In a globalized economy, countries specialize in the products and services. They have a competitive advantage in. This generally means that they can produce and provide most efficiently with the least amount of resources. At a lower cost than competing nations, if all countries are specializing in what they do best, Production should be more effective worldwide. Prices should be lower. Economic growth widespread, and all countries should benefit in theory. Yeah, so it's more efficient worldwide, not effective. Huh? Efficient, not effective. Efficient means they make use of the five M: the manpower, money, machine, uh, material, and management. Thank you. So next paragraph. Uh, may I have uh, Gavin? Policies that promote free trade, open borders, and international cooperation all drive economic globalization. They enable businesses to access lower-priced raw materials and parts, 
take advantage of lower cost labor markets and access larger and growing markets around the world in which to sell their goods and services. This, whatever you're reading now, so later will reflect to your SRQ homework as well as Starbucks in Italy and China. Back to you, Raymond. Uh, money, products, materials, information, and people flow more swiftly across national boundaries today than ever. Advances in technology have enabled and accelerated this flow and the resulting international in interactions and dependencies. These technological advances have, especially, have been especially pronounced in transportation and telecommunications. Exactly why Italy only choose one Starbucks in their countries. They want to see what kind of technology Starbucks make the coffees that is so popular. And how come my Italy coffee has been longer and yet I can't sell as popular as Starbucks? Mean by my Raymond. So they want the test market. They want to see the taste bar. Get it? Huh? So this is a very shrewd, you know, shrewd like S H R E W D. Very cunning move, which is not wrong. Huh? Businessmen are all cunning and sly. Nothing wrong. Uh, Jiayi, among? Among the recent technological changes that have played a role in globalization are the following. Internet and internet communication. The internet has increased the sharing and flow of information and knowledge, access to ideas and exchange of culture among people of different countries. It has contributed to closing a digital divide between more and less advanced countries. So this is where, why Starbucks is so popular because they use this. Not saying that China and, and, and uh, Italy is not, uh, but they are not so advanced. Carry on, last one for you. Uh, Communication technology, the introduction of 4G and 5G technologies has dramatically increased the speed and responsiveness of mobile and wireless networks. Why is globalization important? Global okay, thanks. Uh, thanks, thanks. Okay, uh, Min Min, your turn. Please read these two paragraphs. Global, globalization changes the way uh, nations, businesses, and people interact. Specifically, uh, it changes the economic activity between uh, among nations, expanding trade, opening global supply chains, and providing access to natural resources and labor market. Changing the way trade and financial exchange and interaction occurs among nations also promotes the cultural exchange of ideas. It removes the barriers set by geographic constraints, political boundaries, and political economy. That's why you see the coffee beans can move so far from Starbucks from country to country because they have DHL, they have UPS, they have the courier fleets in the whole entire US to transport goods and services. We are talking about technology and transportation. Remember the, the last the chapter eight topics. Thank you, Mian Mian. Uh, Wang Kang, wait now, wait now, wait now. Uh, that's the last paragraph for you, Monka. For example, globalization en enables businesses in one nation to assess another nation's resources. More open access changes the way products are developed, supply chains, chains are managed, and organizations communicate. Businesses find ch cheaper raw materials and parts less expensive or more skilled labor and more efficient ways to develop products. That's why a lot of people want to come to Singapore during the 60s, 70s. In fact, until now, even though they find Singapore is the most expensive city in the, the top 10 in the world, but why are people still want to come here? Reason number one, because of this supply chain management, um, uh, good uh, infrastructures, uh, good securities, uh, means safe and sound, and good technology. And also not only that, the governments are non-corrupted. Okay, why I'm referring to, why I put this first, this is the homework that you're going to do. All right, uh, let's read about extract one and two. Uh, Yabin, extract one, please. Mr. Shamugam, during a forum with NTU students, made the following comments. Whenever the budget comes around, MPs, whether from the People's Action Party or the opposition, will stand up and talk about how the government should be spending more because that is popular. But always ask yourself, every time a proposal is put forward, where's the money going to come from? 
who is going to pay for it? Exactly. So you see, uh, Raymond, when they are talking about this uh, Italy coffee uh, in, 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 in Italy, and, and why their coffees are not doing well, ask yourself, why is it not doing well? Where is the problem? They might be too egoistic that they think their coffee is good. Why are uh, you see, uh, how come uh, nobody buys, maybe in Italy, uh, people will buy uh, Lamborghini and Ferrari and Porsche. Uh, but how come in Singapore, they don't buy all these cars? You realize that? Uh, these cars are considered luxurious and most expensive in Singapore. Only the super rich will drive. So those are not rich ones who drive like Toyota, maybe uh, Honda, Mitsubishi or Suzuki or whatever, uh, Hyundai. Or, or Kia. Then those who are very, really, very poor will drive, drive van, and those who cannot drive take bus or, or bicycle. Is it, is it the way you work on it? So it's asked yourself, well, where does this money come from? Does it really help to improve the economy? So if the coffee it might be not doing well in Italy, I may not know. I don't drink Italy coffee. Correct now? Because they are, they are poor in marketing and branding. You don't keep on holding on to your traditional culture when you don't want to expand it. Like Jia Ying, you mentioned that you bring your turkey and other things, right? Same. This is why you need to promote, to produce results by showing the publicity, all the P. Write down as many P as you can use in these topics, in any topic. The P will be protect, protectionism, publicity, profit, performance, productivities, okay, perfections of this. Okay, number two. David. Okay. I have no regrets. I have spent my life so much of oh, it. A poster, a poster, brother. <laughs> a poster paying tribute to the late Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, Singapore's first prime minister and founding father. I have no regrets. I have spent my life so much of it building this, building up this country. There's nothing more that I need to do. At the end of the day, what have I got? A successful Singapore. What have I given up my life? So you can see this poster. Uh, if you type Lee Kuan Yew's code uh, in Google now, uh, if you type Lee Kuan Yew's code, you will see uh, under the image, uh, it's not the, 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 the everything, under the image, not the video, uh, you will see this poster. Uh. So it's an extract from this poster. Thank you. Extract one and two. Extract three, Raymond. Oh, a poster created for a Yellow Ribbon Prison Run. The run aims to engage the community in providing ex-convicts with a second chance in life. Proceeds raised from the run will go to the Yellow Ribbon Fund, which supports rehabilitation and reintegration programs of ex-offenders, their families and their children. In 2016, 9,000 Singaporeans participated in the run. Oh, wow. So this is more to the topic of what we call issue one. Okay, citizenship, government. So the three are the rights, the religion, and race. And of course, what is the rights given by the government to the citizen? Let's, read, let's look at the extract one. Huh? Extract one. Can I have one card? Read the extract one to the card, please. Extract, extract one states that deciding what is good for society is a challenge. In your opinion, why is making decisions a challenge for a country like Singapore? Explain your answer with reference into re to so, the reason. Kang, imagine uh, now you are the Prime Minister of Singapore. No, you must do that. Uh. I'm not kidding. Uh. When I say the word serious, please pay attention. Whatever you're doing, pay attention. When you come across these kind of questions, put yourself as the, the person who are going to implement a policy. Put yourself that you're going to do something for your, your fellow citizens. So, Wang Kang, for example, you need to Let's say your son is not doing well for Chinese or your daughter is not doing well for Chinese. What are the two challenges that you're going to make for your son to learn Chinese? Right. One is that you quit your job. And so let's say you are very good in Chinese, but the teacher that he, he has, he don't like because are all, not say no good, they are very good, but they don't have the chemistry. But he likes to listen to you because when he was baby at the time, you tell him Chinese story. But after many years later, when you grow older, you have no time with him because you are busy with your career. Then you employ a, 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 a tutor, right? Which is nothing wrong. Most of us will do that. But it seems like you and, you and your husband discuss, hey, put it doesn't work. So option one, you quit your job. That is first challenge. Right? You quit your job, but then you have less income. But less income means your son will improve his Chinese. Then second one is, do you don't quit your job. Your husband say, maybe I take over. 
I will sit there whenever the teacher come, I will make sure that he do his work. Since my, my job, your husband will say, my job is very flexible. I can work from home. I uh, see. And then the third option is that both of you cannot quit the job, but you need a tutor. Maybe the third option is what? No. You ask your mother to come over to your house when there's always a tuition to wash over him instead of you know, not paying attention. You get me? So put yourself into the position. This across to all of you, uh, seriously. Okay. I believe your children will be definitely much smarter than you and you will find a good reason to not to study this or study that or do this and that. So you must outrun them in one way. Okay. And, and of course, your children, when you're born, they're so smart because of your genes. So you have to put a lot of challenges. Same. You know why, Wang Kang? You see, uh, in the 60s, uh, when Lee Kuan Yew implemented things, uh, most of the Singaporeans uh, Wang Kang, are all mostly uneducated. Uh, 政府讲, uh, okay, 政府讲是对的, 是好的, 是very good one, I do. But now, uh, 就算政府讲多好, uh, 我们就说,是吗?真的吗?两百块够我用吗? Uh, 这个GST refund够我用吗? 什么都是提价, eh, hello brother, 我没有叫你整天去吃restaurant呢。你可以打包,可以去超级市场买呢。你讲什么废话。政府给你钱,你讲。政府不给你钱。Hey, get understand? So how when you implement this two policy, what is the reason 人家会听到你心服口服? There's no right or wrong answer, okay, Wang Kang? Okay? I'm just referring to all of you, uh, since Wang Kang is reading this. Thank you, Wang Kang. Right? So what are the two reasons that you will make sure there's challenges, but make sure that they are good? So think about it. This, this is a very good homework to do. Uh, trust me. If you don't know, that's your problem. This is a super good homework to do. Trust me. Okay? Because if you can do this homework, uh, uh, this exercise, uh, it will link to other questions later on. Trust me. Uh. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jia Ying, can you read the next one, please? Jiaying, this one. Extract 2 and Extract 3 reflect on the roles of government and citizens in working for the good of society. Do you think that the government has a more significant role than its citizens in working for the good of society? Explain your answer. Exactly. So now I put you, uh, Jai, as now your owner. So your husband tell you, hey, Lapo, so, should we engage a tutor or should you, let's say, Jiayin, let's say, you're a teacher, 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 you're a master in Chinese. So, La Pua, should you give out your job and now teach your son? Ah, so, which one do you think? Hey, no one. No, 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 no. I won't be a job one year. So, La Pua said, hey, La Pua, you're in the house. No, 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 no. Wang Kang. That is the latest, the modern woman's power. Ah, Raymond, Gavin, which is nothing wrong. Okay, so Jai, since you say no, 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 right? So what are you going to suggest? Option A is to get a tutor. Okay, or option B, you quit your job and teach your son. And what is the best? Option A. Well, well, I, well, well, I think I asked, asked wrongly. Uh. <laughs> the answer is so obvious. Uh. Okay, let me rephrase my question. Let me rephrase. So now your husband discussed with you, you confirm you don't want to, uh, don't want to teach your son. Right? So option A is get someone to tutor to come in, right? right? So what do you think the option B will be? That means that, that B is out already. That means you, your husband say, okay, okay, since you don't want to quit your job, fine, fine. Then you give me the second option now. Nah. I already give you, you know what I mean? Nah? Your husband give you the two options already, but you reject one option, right? And then you option A also, let me think about it. Then, then your husband asks you, okay, like what? Then what is the option B? Say, man, Gavin and Raymond and the rest, are one come please think. What do you think is the option B will be best? How, how old is he? How old is he? Uh, maybe uh, primary three or primary four. Uh. I want Sorry? I want him to quit school and then go to China. <laughs> you want to quit school and ask him to go to China? Okay. Why? Uh? Okay. 
Now I change the situation. Now you are in China. <laughs> so how? And his Chinese is no good, but he speaks very well in English. So how to quit China? How to quit school? They are now in China. <laughs> and now International school. Very good. I was about to say that, Raymond. I heard now uh, China now don't allow tuition, right? No. Oh uh, yeah, they closed down like ninety percent. What ninety percent? I I recently heard from two of my friends. Hundred percent, I heard. No one are supposed to have tuition. I was about to embark my journey to go to China. Want to teach English to some of them. Say no, Raymond. I tell you, you don't waste time. You don't go to Chongqing. I was going to go to Chongqing. If you have friends who know Chongqing, tell me. So I have to change my my course, Raymond. You know what I do? I want to do IT style. So Jia Ying, so you quit school and go China. So now you're in China. So Raymond suggests international school, right? Ah, uh, might improve it. So you get me now. So you see, Jia Ying, there's no right or wrong answer. This is your family, right? Same thing like country's thing. This is country's thing. They want to find okay, Jia Ying. You want to find the best way for your son to make sure he loves Chinese, have passion, and pass Chinese, correct? And then can speak simple Chinese word slowly and surely develop the interest. Same thing, governments and citizens working for the good of society. Do you think government pay more or citizen? If you ask me, 没有国就没有家，对吗？可是家是从哪里开始？从 the individual to come out. So if to me, if every citizen play a part and make sure that there's a unity, there's a conformity and cohesiveness, and 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 the the, the, the kind of collaborations to make this country good, then there will be. Government will implement a better policy. So the most important thing is that the governments make sure that citizens are well educated enough to take care of themselves. It's always like that. Individual must take care of themselves. Okay. So that's my answer. I will choose citizen over the government. So this is the answer here. Okay. This is my answer. So please read through. Okay. While you're doing that, please read through. Ah. I give you my answer to you already. Okay, this is the best. If you can, ah,、uh, if you have a printer, please print it out. If not, you can put in your whatever format. I don't care. Okay, this is a、uh, using the so then how and using the D E E E R L dear. Okay, and that's my conclusion. In my opinion, I strongly believe that a stable and successful and systematic government is the key factors that giving the countries like Singapore a better place to live and work in. In order for working for the good of the society, the government must set a good role model to achieve a fair, honest, and impartial attitude for all citizens. Nevertheless, I do believe and strongly feel that citizens will and must play a vital role in making a paradigm shift for working for a, the good of the society. In fact, each and every citizen. Play an important part, and building block for the shaping and nurturing and protecting the interests of the society. I must say, citizen roles and responsibility are the crest to develop for the good of society. Needless to say, having good government is important. But without the cohesiveness, creativity, and calmness of the citizen, definitely it will not bring the peace, productivity, and prosperity to a country as well as a multi-society like Singapore. Therefore. Citizen has a more significant role for the good of the society. So that's my conclusion. So I hope to see and read your conclusion like that. Like I say, I don't like to chase you homework. You are really set for student. You are very mature enough. Okay. If your any your parents say why my daughter and my son no any homework, sorry, I will not answer to that. Okay. You guys can answer. You all should know the the importance of homework. Ah,、uh, is to prepare you for your future and the future. And to prepare you for the real working life. All right, so let's go back to this one here. Ah,、uh, let me share with you the Starbucks things before we end the lesson. There are some important points to take note. Ah,、huh? look at this one. If you really need that article, let me know. I can send you a PDF. Can China, Italy, both Starbucks slow grow? So just quickly go through this. Ah,、huh? this one is not important. I highlight for you. Ah,、huh? just a quick one. Ah,、huh? look at this one here. Gavin, can you read that one in yellow? January nineteen ninety nine marked the first opening of a Starbucks store in China. In fiscal twenty seventeen, the company added over five hundred fifty stores in China for a total of nearly 
three thousand stores in one three five cities. One hundred thirty five or one three five, you can buy 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 more piawa. Okay. Starbucks shock investors when it said that it will be opening more than store a day in China to reach its goal of more than five thousand store locations in the country by twenty twenty one. So you see, initially they rejected because they find that China is the land of tea, cha ye cha. But now they start to drink coffee, and thanks to Starbucks, Hong Raymond and uh, Wang Kang, they got this lucky right, a new coffee right. To compete with Starbucks, Starbucks will say, "Damn it, 早知道我不要进来 China." 现在你看他们所谓知己知彼，百战不败。Wow, 他们是真的中国人，聪明啊，《孙子兵法》。你们 ，I don't think your teacher teach you this in your social studies. Don't I understand? Whatever you study, all these things, please read up certain topics. Uh, you see, realize most of the leaders are, are all will have some philosophy thinkings, okay? To build up. In fact, if you are doing maths and science, uh, please read these kind of books. Ah,、uh, that will really beef up your thinking. And then when you do your work, ah,、uh, you will be much better. I'm not saying I'm good, ah,、uh, Raymond and Gavin. Every day I'm improving myself because over the years I've been reading all these materials. So when I'm helping my student, I'm also helping in my own business. Okay. So you realize you see this one? Okay, just a quick route. Now just glance through if you can. Ah,、uh. please pay attention when.、I'm... Okay, this one. Ah,、uh, Wang Kang, can you read the one, the first two? With China well on its way to five thousand Starbucks stores by twenty twenty one, the company is turning its gaze to Italy, a dangerous place for an American coffee brand to enter, considering how seriously the culture takes their caffeinated beverages. Starbucks is partnering with the lab company Procasi, funded by entrepreneur and former footballer Antonio Procasi, and plans to open its first 2,400 square meters in Milan in the second half of 2018. The company hopes to open 200 to 300 sales points in Italy over the next six years. You see, have you heard of Procasi's coffee? No, no, right, Wangka. I think if I don't show you this picture. Or try to show you this slide, you will don't know. And what happened? Ah,、uh, if really the exam come up, we got this focusy. You know, oh, that means ah,、uh, they are so serious about the coffees、uh, that they they have like a big obstacle, like a brick wall of China blocking them. But they look at the left and right and say, hey, cannot be leh. If I block, ah,、uh, how come? Ah,、uh, even I block my country, Starbucks are building. You no, know? cannot, cannot. In order to make my brand focusy so so well known, I need to do something. I need to tag along people. Wang Kang, you agree now?、Uh? I'm so sorry. I、uh, know how feeling. Ah,、uh, I'm not saying.、Uh, do you realize that、uh, sometimes when you study, ah,、uh, you realize this group of friends very good. Ah,、uh, you want to tag along with them, right? But ah,、uh, you want to see how they study, how they, how come ah? Wow, 平时在班上没有什么听课，可是他们的成绩这么好。哎，有什么秘方嘛？哎 ，share 一下嘞，对不对？好朋友就会跟你 share. Ah, so oh, ah, actually, I really don't have anything to listen. I just listen to Google, to this one. And because my teacher is very good, he gives me some tips. You see. Your grandparents and your parents, which is my generation, study very hard, like shit. I know. Today you must study smart with a bit of hard work. So this is what immense here. Starbucks is working very smart using the the geography. If you study geography, ah,、uh, but Italy is working very hard to preserve it, but not smart enough to expand like a businessman. So remember now you understand why, ah.、Uh, if you want to study this, ah,、uh, want to study law or study something philosophy. I will still think that England University is better, but if you want to study business, ah,、uh, I think U.S. degree is better. So it proves to me, ah,、uh, it proves to you now, ah,、uh, correct, ah,、uh, ah,、uh, Raymond and the rest, ah.、Uh. No, no, this is my personal opinion, ah.、Uh. Okay, my personal. If my student asks me something, hey, Uncle Raymond, should I go to England or should I go to U U.K.? I mean, since you got England certificate, of course you're going to support England. No, true and not true, ah.、Uh. Okay, thank you, ah,、uh, Wang Kang. Ah,、uh, may I have ah、uh, Raymond? Oh, Starbucks is partnering with Italian yeah, 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 yeah. the Italian business business will acknowledge the challenge of bringing an American coffee brand into the country. We know that there we are going to face a unique challenge with the opening of the first Starbucks store in Italy, the country of coffee, and we are confident that Italian people are ready to live the Starbucks experience, as already occurs in many other markets," said Percasi. President of the company Percasi. 
That sounds like the, the one not wearing shoe in Africa, right? Mm. Oh, the second one, the son said, mm, that sounds like there's an opportunity. Oh. So, let me see. A land of no shoe. Become a land of running shoe and run one of the best marathon in Olympic. Yo, brother. <laughs> Nothing is impossible. It's your mindset to how to convince people to impress and express, not to make yourself depressed. Back to you, Maymen. Are you ready to read the next one? Mimin is out, huh? Okay, so now uh, Jai. This one? Just say the uh, source. Source also acknowledged the challenges the company faces in Italy in a statement on the new venture. His comments aimed to show that Starbucks respects the coffee culture in Italy and it tiptoeing is and is tiptoeing into the country rather than jumping in full speed. Our first store will be designed with painstaking detail and great res uh, respect for the re Italian people and co coffee culture. Um, so so um, thank you. Thank you, uh, So Raymond, did your teacher mention about this though? Mm, no. Uh, now you know, uh, shh, don't share with Kevin uh, because he's also in your school. Shh, don't share with him. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, now you understand uh, uh, Raymond and Kevin. So you see, they, they, they go in as in respect first. So it's not like straight away must be homogenization. They respect in the bit of hybridization to bring the, the essence of, hey, hello, excuse me, Italy got a very rich history, right? Tema Raymond, the Roman Empire, right? Hello, who are you to tell me, American? You only got less than 300 to tell the Roman how to run the business. Up. Didn't you hear that? When you are in Rome, behave like a Romans. You Americans, please follow us. So it's smart. That means these people know the history, the background, which is nothing wrong, you see? And the rest, you see, increase on the stock market. Well done to Starbucks. And now you know why your school textbook is part of it, that the Starbucks is a learning topics to, to, to entice you to understand what you mean by the homogenization, homo, homogenization and hybridization. Okay, this one, uh, very lengthy. Uh, and to be proof to you, I don't want to stop here. Uh. I mean, I want to show here. Raymond, can you help read the class, please? This paper consists of eight chapters. An overview of the international and domestic coffee market about coffee production and consumption will be given. Meanwhile, the status and development prospects of coffee industry are chi in China are briefly summarized. However, coffee in China is still a trend more than a habit. People drink it to feel good, but not out of need. Coffee culture is beginning to be accepted and appeals to the adventurous, open-minded, young, affluent urban consumers in cities like Shanghai, Beijing, and Guangzhou. This paper also gives a deep analysis of Chinese customers' coffee buying behavior, consumption values, and Chinese coffee culture, which is more like a symbol of modern and successful lifestyle rather than the culture created by Western people hundreds years of years ago. In China, coffee culture represents a young emerging middle class and their growing purchase power instead of blends, taste, and brewing techniques. This paper is consists of 128 pages, okay? And it's for... Look here. Okay. You are reading a university paper. So ladies and gentlemen, are you there? Oh, sorry, I didn't. Jai, you can't tell So you can Uncle Raymond tell me that the two H and H uh, is related to what you are reading now. It's real, uh, it's real. Okay, thank you. So next one, uh, look at this one, children. Uh, you, know, you, look, you look at this, this slide. It's really fascinating what Starbucks is doing. Look at this picture here. It's using container, huh? the, those containers, you know what I mean? Huh? You see the message here? Look here, huh? a quick one, huh? don't mind. Huh? Role and responsibility. So when the person, huh, when the country look at it, huh? hey, actually Starbucks is not doing bad, no. It's actually, you look at the coffee farmer and the committee. Hey, not bad, huh? they're doing a good job. Huh? I think we should give them a chance to, to talk to us. And to show that, you no. Know, so that's why they start off, you see? They start by purchase and they grow, and they see? They got scientists. So they might want to get these scientists and this expertise to their countries to help them to make their coffee even more popular. 
You see? Uh, look at this one here. Starbucks launched this one. So you see, they, this, all these are literatures that are proved to the world. They don't just come in to take over your cultures. We are here to work with you for the benefit of the people of the, around the world, to give them opportunity, to give them the understanding, the meaning of uh, civilizations, sustainability, and continuity and educations. Look here. That means when you're working in Starbucks, people will recognize you that you are a company that advocates the love and interests of the environment. Hey, seriously, uh, if after all level, seriously, you want to work in Starbucks, uh, please do let me know. Uh. I do have my friends who is a regional manager who are looking for people. And the moment you uh, join them, uh, they will send you for a course, uh, a one-day full-day course uh, to learn about Starbucks uh, and all these things. Uh which I did. Huh? Okay. So I just want to share with you. Huh? Okay. To inspire. Look at here. So this is proof. So one day uh, you might be inside one of this company, not Starbucks, but whatever you learn now today uh, is definitely benefit to the rest of your life. You say cheers. The final chapter, no, sorry, the final cheers campaign should consist of creating this five to seven Starbucks that offer international wine. You see, not just this coffee, they also have this. Right, pizza, sushi, you see? So in planning with other authentic, the, 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 remember Jia Ying and, and Wang Kang, we talked about the food right, from different parts of the world, like Portugal, the soup. How can the soup also drink with coffee or maybe with the pastry? Also maybe with some of the cakes or some of the pie. So you realize McDonald's always like to come certain toys, certain uh, happy meals, certain... Uh, um, um, flavor according to their 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 tradition tra traditional culture. Oh, okay, shucks, man, I cannot read coffee. You see, this aspect aspect of the campaign should successfully attract both Italian consumer and international travelers. Hey, Kevin, Jiang Yi, Wang Kang, Raymond. That day I heard now uh, Italy has opened up a Starbucks and it's very nice. Eh? Maybe ah. Uh, since we are going for Italy for holiday, maybe you can drop by and see how this Starbucks looks like. You know, uh, Planet Hollywood was one of the, before that, I don't know you heard about Planet Hollywood. It's a restaurant. Uh. If you wear Planet Hollywood, you go around the world, or Hard Rock Cafe. Uh, you heard of Hard Rock Cafe, right? Planet Hollywood, Hard Rock Cafe, yeah? Uh, one kind of Hard Rock Cafe. You wear the t-shirt, you say, Hard Rock Cafe, Bangkok. Hard Rock Cafe, Taiwan. Hard Rock Cafe, Shanghai. It's like a collection of t-shirts that you go, right? You see? They sell that kind of image and qualities. So if you are very interested in business, uh, please do not hesitate to look at all these things. Seriously. You will be different from others. Whatever the lecturer teacher is more on academics. Uh. So I'm just sharing because I'm in the business. Uh, my degree is in one of business IT. So I'm just sharing with you all this in advance. Okay? So now you have a better picture that not Starbucks editing is homogenization. It must be bad. must be bad. But they're very smart. They ban a bit to get hybrid, they bend a bit to culture, they bend a bit to suit your taste, they bend a bit to their environments, they bend a bit to make sure that to tell the international, hello, Starbucks is a company that advocates sustainability, right? So I hope you can do that homework, huh? the one I told you, the deep one, you that one, okay? And uh, hopefully, uh, uh, are you having an exam now, all of you? Yeah, finish your exam first, then submit the homework, okay? Please complete your exam first, that's more important, all right? If not, then I'll go through the answer next week. Don't worry, okay? That one, I can go through the answer. That's why I don't want to go through the answer now. I let you read first and get ideas. All right, thank you.